Did you know that you can make a lot of money selling on Jumia? Did you know that Jumia do not actually own the products you see on their website? These are products posted by individuals like you who make bank when people make purchases. These individuals then go ahead to pay Jumia a small commission for fulfilling their orders. Anyways, you might want to know how to sell on the platform because you want to learn how to make some money by leveraging one of the biggest e-commerce platforms in Africa right now. If that is the case for you, this video will give you all the information you need to know about selling on Jumia so you can identify whether this is the type of business for you. Why should you consider selling on Jumia in the first place? Let us have a look at some statistics. You want to sell on Jumia because it is the biggest e-commerce platform in Africa. According to similar website, the site receives millions of visitors every month. Alexa ranking shows that Jumia is among the top 10 sites visited by Africans, especially in Kenya and Nigeria every day. These statistics show that selling on Jumia means your products will get a lot of reach from the millions of people visiting the site every year. Therefore, your earning potential is very high if you navigate this business correctly. How much does it cost to sell on Jumia? It is free to create a seller account, however, they charge commission of between 5 and 15% depending on the product you are selling on the platform. You can easily know the commission to be charged by going to the seller center and then clicking on settings, then your profile, and then commissions and fees. How to sell on Jumia step by step. To sell on Jumia, you need to think of good products, do competitor research, identify product suppliers, register for a seller account, create product listings, and promote your products. Let's have a look at these in detail. Step 1. Think of products to sell. The products you are going to sell on Jumia determine whether you're going to make money or not. These products should be influenced by your passion or a specific problem you want to solve. If you are passionate about a particular thing, you can decide to sell products that fulfill this specific love. For instance, say you love fashion. You can definitely sell some fashionable items like shoes, dresses, watches, etc. You can also decide to sell products that solve a specific problem. For instance, you can sell a product like a dehumidifier, a device that can help people breathe better, especially during these times of the pandemic. Regardless of the product you decide to go for, you need to follow the numbers. Consider selling those products that have many sales on the platform and you will be in for a great experience in terms of revenue. What sells most on Jumia? Electronics, beauty products, clothing, shoes, and fitness items sell most on the platform. Therefore, if you want to make good money, you might want to sell products in these categories. Finding products to sell The key to successful selling is to find a great product, one that is in high demand but low supply. However, this is easier said than done. So, how do you go about finding these products to sell? Characteristics of a good product to sell, one that we would go for. One that costs between 1000 and 10000 We would go for a product with a good price due to the margins. Remember, Jumia takes a commission and you have to make a profit after eliminating all expenses. Products that you can sell for 1000 to 10000 shillings can be great for you. The reason we would not want the price to be above 10,000 shillings is that such products will definitely require a lot of capital to start with. The product sells throughout the year. You don't want to be stuck with a product that only sells during Christmas. You want a product you can sell all year round. Has 20 to 70 reviews. If people are leaving reviews on the product, it means it is receiving many purchases, hence a lot of demand. However, you have to be careful not to sell a product with so many reviews, say above 300, because it could mean that you will have a lot more competition to deal with. The product can be improved. Check out the reviews and see the things that can be improved. 
If you can improve on the product, then you can definitely go above your competition. You have to use these tips combined to find products that you can sell on Jumia. Example product to sell Baby Shoulder Diaper Bag. Reasons to sell this product Good price, meaning good margins. Not bulky, meaning shipping will not be too expensive. Good reviews, meaning the product is of high quality. With a good image, you can easily outdo the competition. Competitor research. Competitor research is an important part of finding the right product to sell. Apart from checking out other sellers' reviews, you should also look for things that you can improve once it's time to sell your product. For instance, if we were to sell the baby shoulder diaper bag, we would ensure that we have a better display image and description to try and attract people to our product instead of our competitor's listing. We would also read the reviews and see things to improve on. In fact, we might consider getting high quality diaper bags and sell them on Jumia instead of the same product the competition is selling. Check out this example of a baby shoulder diaper bag we would sell. Reasons we would sell this bag instead of the competitor's one. It looks better, it is of higher quality, and can sell at a higher price. Step 2. Identify product suppliers. Once you have decided on the product to sell, it is now time to find the right suppliers. Alibaba.com is an amazing place to find great suppliers for your specific product. All you need to do is go to the site and search for the product name and you will find tons of suppliers that you can potentially work with. Engaging with Alibaba Product Suppliers Once you have found potential suppliers to work with, it's now time to engage them. In your conversation, you want to talk about things like pricing, shipping, and product quality. It is good to talk to a number of different suppliers to ensure you get the best price and quality possible. In regards to product quality, you should consider ordering a couple of samples from different manufacturers so you can go with the manufacturer that offers the best quality. When it comes to selling on Jumia, you mainly have two options to go with, drop shipping or ordering directly then taking to Jumia for fulfillment. Drop shipping on Jumia. Starting an e-commerce business on Jumia can be quite tough because you don't know the kind of product to sell. This then brings the idea of drop shipping, which entails selling products without holding the inventory yourself. This is a good way to initially test out products to see whether there is demand before ordering units. To do drop shipping, all you need is to post your product on the platform and indicate it ships from abroad. Once you get an order, reach out to your supplier and place the order with them. After a couple of days, you will receive the product. Just take it to Jumia for fulfillment. The advantage of drop shipping is that you will not have to use a lot of money to purchase a product that may not sell well. However, delivery takes too long, leading to bad customer experience. The second method is to order units up front and then take them for fulfillment. Ordering units entails placing orders with your manufacturer for, say, 10 baby shoulder diaper bags and then taking them to Jumia for fulfillment once you get orders. This is our favorite way of selling because we like giving customers a great experience. Therefore, if more customers can receive products in just a couple of days after ordering, they will be more inclined to tell their friends about the great service, especially if the product is of great quality too. How much does it cost to ship from Alibaba to Kenya? The amount you pay to ship from Alibaba to Kenya depends on the shipping method you choose and the product's weight. For instance, a Quantu shipping company charges between $50 and $80 to ship $100 worth of goods amounting to about 5 kilograms. You might also choose not to work with a shipping company and have Alibaba suppliers ship directly to you. However, this only works with very small products like necklaces and bracelets since the tax charged on such items is minimal and you'll have no issue with customs. Step 3. Register a Jumia seller account. Once you have the product supply in check, it's now time to register for a seller account. To do this, just go to the seller center and fill in your details. Step 4. Create product listing. In your Jumia Seller Center, click on Products and then Add a Product. 
you will need a great product description to ensure your product sells. This is how to write the best product descriptions for Jumia products. For your products to be seen, you need to use the right keywords. For instance, say you're selling the baby diaper bag. You need to ensure that you use this keyword several times in your product description. Note that you should not just repeat the keyword for the sake of having it there. Ensure it flows with the message you are trying to put across. Write a buyer persona based description. Ensure your product description is focused on a certain buyer. For instance, in our example of the baby diaper bag, you could write a description that focuses on new moms. Focus on the product's benefits. Instead of talking about the features of the product, talk about the benefits. For instance, talk about the diaper bag being one place to store everything a baby needs when traveling. Keep the product description short and sweet. Don't make the product description too long. Just keep it short and be sure to highlight important points. Use high quality images. E commerce is a visual business. You need to ensure that your product uses the best images. This is the only way to attract people to click your product instead of that of the competition. Therefore, you have to ensure that the images are captivating. Do not just have an image of the product, instead, let your first image show how this product can be used. Step 5. Promote your products Once you have posted your product, you might think that the job is done for you. However, that's not the case. You have to go and promote your products to ensure that people purchase from your Jumia store. This is a good idea to get the first few orders coming in. You can promote products on social media. For instance, you can promote the diaper bags on Facebook groups for moms in Kenya. Step 6. Start selling. Once you get an order, all you need to do is take it to Jumia for processing. The process is quite simple since you will be assigned an agent who will ensure your orders are processed. Step 7. Manage inventory. When product units start moving, you have to properly manage your inventory so you don't run out of stock. You need to create an inventory system that tells you it is time to order new units from your supplier or manufacturer. How to process Jumia orders Once you have a new order, you should receive an email notification. Just log into your account and go to Manage Orders. Choose the order you want to process and click Ready to Ship. Afterward, click on Create Package and then select where you would like to drop off your orders. Step 8. Scale your Jumia business Selling on Jumia is great, but you're exposed to high commissions and you don't own your customers because another person can ship a similar product as you and overtake your business just like that. You do not want that to happen and that is why you might want to build your very own e-commerce business brand. This is how to start your own e-commerce business brand. Once you start receiving orders and getting positive feedback, it's now time to scale your business by building a brand. Instead of just selling on Jumia, create a brand where you leverage other platforms like Facebook and Instagram. You can even tell your manufacturer to private label your products and name it the way you want. For instance, if you are selling the baby diaper bag, you could tell the manufacturer to label it as Exquisite Diaper Bags, a name that will end up being your own brand. You can now sell this bag through Instagram, Facebook, and other social media channels. You could even give it to influencers for free and they tag you on Instagram after doing a review. This will push their followers to buy the bag. There are many ways to build an e-commerce brand. If you are interested in learning, let us know in the comments section down below. Anyways guys, thank you so much for watching. We hope that you gained some value out of this video. If yes, be sure to hit that like button as this helps push the video to more people and grow the Success Generation family. Also, consider subscribing and turning on notifications for more informative content. Have any questions or suggestions about selling on Jumia? Be sure to let us know in the comments section below. Until next time, we hope that you have an amazing rest of your day.